Hello, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting. Today we're going through the installation of the WooCommerce plugin and installing a default theme called Storefront, which is good for WooCommerce. And the video is a little bit different today. I'm appearing on camera with you because I wanted to feel like I'm working with you personally to show you how this installation process works and walk you through it in real time, as they say. So as you can see, we've got a fresh installation of WordPress here. I'm looking at the dashboard right now. The first thing we're going to do is install the WooCommerce plugin. So we're going to click over here on the left side, click on plugins, and hover over here to add new. All right, and you may not see WooCommerce on the front page, so up on the right here, we're going to just search for it. And there you see WooCommerce. You can click on the link to read more about it, but for now, we're just going to click Install Now. and it looks like it was successfully installed so just click activate plugin and as soon as you click activate you'll see the setup wizard here and I'm gonna go ahead and just run you through each of these steps you can skip this in this initial phase I recommend going through at the beginning just because it'll do a lot of things automatically for you that may save you some time later. So we'll just click Let's Go. Now the page setup is important. You'll notice here you have Shop, Cart, Checkout, My Account. These are all the common pages you'd see on any e-commerce site they are particularly important like the cart page where the shoppers can see what they've added to their cart and you can create these manually in WooCommerce at any time the convenient thing about doing it through the setup wizard is that they'll be created automatically so when you go in and you add your first product as we're going to do in a few moments you can actually add it to the cart as a test and you can go see it in the cart so we're going to cl click continue here and let WooCommerce create those pages and here we're setting up our locale so where's your store based? that's pretty simple just put in your location there you go scrolling down there it is and our currency that our store is going to use United States dollar is good unless you're located somewhere else and the unit you want to use for weighting uh, pounds is fine and the unit for product dimensions inches is good unless you're shipping something that's bigger all right click continue shipping and tax setup uh, this will be at your own discretion for the most part but it's basically just asking if you'll be charging sales tax shipping physical goods to customers you can enable these options right here and of course you can always change everything later for now, we'll just say yes, we'll be shipping physical goods to customers, and we'll hold on the sales tax until later. Click continue. And of course, payment, which is very important. It says here WooCommerce can accept both online and offline payments. So you can organize local pickup, or if you have an actual physical storefront, you can sell things online and people can come and pick it up. Uh, but for now, we're just going to pick these um, these online payment methods here. You see, we have PayPal, which has uh, been around for a while, and it's it's a, a secure payment gateway that your customers can use. And also Stripe here, which is a, another one. We can just go ahead and enable those to get started, and you can add more payment methods later. Click Continue. And you see 
it only took a few moments and it says our store is ready this little message here about WooCommerce collecting non-sensitive diagnostic data and information that's up to you I'll just l allow that if it helps and if you click allow or no thanks that message disappears and we can move on to creating our first product and you see they put a nice big button there for you all right and as you go through the process of creating your first product here WooCommerce actually guides you through point by point you see this big flag here telling you about the product name and what it does it's pretty self-explanatory we'll just put it in motion hosting shirt that's the first product we're going to be working with all right and the product description this is your product's main body of content here you should describe your product in detail I don't have a lot of detail about the shirt, but I'll just put it in here. All right, so we've done our description. Next is the product type. In other videos, we talked about these in a little more detail. For now, we're just going to put a simple product, but you see you have grouped products external affiliate products and variable products but simple is good enough for the shirt and you see there's a box here for virtual products uh, these are as it says non-physical items that will not be shipped or not need to be shipped uh, a shirt would so we'll leave that and uh, the shirt is also not a downloadable product but you can sell downloadable products so we'll dismiss that message and of course a price for the product, very important. And uh, we'll just put a, a decent price for the shirt here, a regular price, $10.99. And we talked about sales prices um, in other videos and how you can use sale prices. Uh, for now, we'll just leave a regular price. And here we have a short description. So this would just be a little summary of the product uh, that appears with it depending on your theme. We'll just put in Okay, so we've done our short description. We can dismiss this. Product images. Now this is definitely important because you want your people to see what the product looks like. And it's pretty simple to set an image and I have one available. So you click set product image. I'm just going to drag the image in. Yes, okay. The InMotion Hosting shirt now has an image. So click Set Product Image. And there you can see right here we have a nice InMotion Hosting product shirt image okay let's see what else WooCommerce wants us to do yes tagging is important and we we talked about product tags and categories in the video on related products but right now we'll just put in some basic stuff A little bit about the content of the shirt. Click Add. So now we just tagged our product and categories. I'm going to add a broad category here for clothing. And then click Add New Product Category. All right. 
see that was pretty quick. Now we're ready to publish our product. When you're finished editing your product, hit the publish button to publish your product to your store. Fair enough. You just click the publish button over here. And now the product will go live. I'm going to click this link here so you can see it. There. And you can see our clothing category in motion hosting shirt with the category and the tags and our description. Nice and pretty. And uh, this is the the default uh, WordPress theme that came with our installation. I'm just going to show you quickly how to install the storefront theme. And of course this is up to you and how you, you want your site to look. But um, the, the storefront theme was designed more with WooCommerce in mind, so I'll just show you how to get that going. Under Appearance, click on Themes. I'm going to open this up in a separate window. And click Add New Theme. And we're going to search Storefront. There it is. So click Install. And click Activate. Now we, we visit our site. We can see on our shop page we have the InMotion hosting shirt. And you can see this has a, a bit of a different look. So now we've gone through the installation process of the WooCommerce plugin. We went through the, the setup wizard to get going right away. We added our first product and we set up a theme. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your shipping zones. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you may like and subscribe below. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.